Hi, I'm Lisa Murray from Creativity Lab and I want to talk to you about a situation that a lot of people encounter when they first start to create what they would really love to create in the world and that is they think I would love to do this and I haven't got the money and you know how many of us stop ourselves because we think we haven't got the money and one of the things that I love about Creativity Lab is being creative and actually playing with well how else could this show up because if we go to the conclusion that I haven't got the money, there is no possibility for creating what you want to create. But if you start to play with it in all sorts of different ways, and I'm going to talk about a couple of examples in a moment, what happens is that doors open where you thought there weren't doors. People show up where before there was no one. And all of a sudden, this thing that you'd like to create starts to come into being, not necessarily in the way you expected, not necessarily in the exact plan that you had, but it sometimes, and mostly, it actually comes into being in a greater way than what you ever imagined. So let's talk about a couple of examples. So years and years and years ago, I wanted to do an MBA. And every time I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, $30,000, that's a lot of money for a university degree. And I didn't even really know why I wanted to do it, I just thought I'd like to do it. And Eventually, I found myself working at a university and then I found myself working in a job where it was pretty much a requirement of the job to have an MBA. Now, I got the job without the MBA, as you do, right? Because I asked for it, I was like, I'm just going to do this job anyway. And what happened though was the university ended up paying for my MBA. Now, you can look at that and go, you were lucky, or you can look at that and go, no, you asked for that, you know, years and years before, and then there was this moment when it was possible for it to show up. So do you come to a conclusion when something doesn't show up, like, you know, oh, maybe in an hour or the next day, that it's not going to work and that you can't do it? Or what if you actually started to play with things and started asking for so many things to show up that literally you would be spoilt for choice in terms of how many different things you could play with? So that's one way of looking at it. Another way is to actually play with the idea, well, what if I didn't need money? So what if you want to start a business and you've got a job and you're like, my job takes up time and there's no spare money, you know, I've got bills, all those sorts of things. I need money to start a business. Well, the cool and amazing thing about the world we live in right now is that you do need a little bit of money, but you know, you can start a business with less than $500. And when I say start a business, start a business that starts making you money pretty quickly. So every point of view you've got about what it takes to start a business, what if none of that was true? And what if you could always find a different way of being able to create that actually is within what you've got right now? And when I say that, what I mean is Someone said to me years ago, everything you actually require to create anything you would like to create is available within like a kilometer or 10 kilometers of where you live. And it, at the time I was like, that's an interesting idea. And I didn't think about that much. And I wouldn't necessarily put a physical location on it. But what I have found is if I'm willing to ask for the things that I require, like even this videoing I'm doing today, I'm doing it with a friend and it's really cool. She's got lots of equipment and we're helping each other and it's fun. And so what if the things you can do could show up through collaboration, through contributing to other people, through receiving other people's contribution? And what if you don't have to do it all by yourself? And that is one of the real joys of Creativity Lab because you come together with many different people from all sorts of different backgrounds who are all wanting to create something greater in the world. And we really play with how you can bring it to fruition in a way that works for you. Because if there's something you don't have, it just means there's another way that's even easier and more fun and better for you. So if you would like to join us, we have three hour tasters or three day live events all over the world. And I would truly love to play with you. So come bring your ideas or, you, or even your no ideas because we can play with that too. All right, thanks so much. I'll talk to you again soon.